Today's video is on how to use jelly plate printing to create beautiful, inspirational cards. Hi, I'm Vicki Reed with Paint by Heart, and today we're going to be looking at making these beautiful cards which you can send out to people in your life that are going through challenging times. I know I've needed to send these out uh, more often recently to people that are going through some really challenging things. Uh, these aren't easy times and I feel it's helpful to have an acknowledgement of what you're going through along with some inspiration to hopefully lift your spirits. So let's get started. Okay, so to do these cards, they're in two stages. I've got the sayings here. Um, this one, which I love for people who have just lost someone dear. And this one for resilient people going through difficult times. And um, these are on sort of a card stock and I'm gonna print those first and then I'm gonna print a background for the card. I'm using black stock and interference pigments because I've been getting some really fabulous results. All right, so um, for the sayings, the paint has to be very transparent because if it's too strong, it will just obscure the words and the message while it's there will kind of be lost. Okay, so quinacridone nickel azo gold, um, iridescent bright gold, and a little bit of green gold. All right, so I'm brayering this out on an eight by 10 plate. I'm gonna use a very subtle pattern um, using my trivet, which is a honeycomb um, pattern, which I love. And actually just a little bit of Lego, which is an, another really kind of fun, subtle pattern. And the bottom of this little glass, which um, is also a fun pattern. And yes, you might not have one of these, but keep your eyes open for things that will make a beautiful, subtle pattern. It's fun, so. Okay, that's looking good. Anywhere that um, it's too pale for you, you can always take your catalyst wedge and just uh, smooth a little paint over the top of that. Uh, I'm gonna do another one. This time I'm gonna do um, a little more green, green and blue. Uh, that was green gold again. We'll do a little bit of the um, nickel azo gold and then some manganese blue hue. Again, all very transparent so that we'll be able to see the text through the paint. Okay, so let's do one of these. And that's just straight up paint with no impressions in there, which is also fine. But I do like a little bit of pattern in there. I am used, I'm changing color palette a little bit. So, uh, permanent violet dark, iridescent bright gold, and manganese blue. Um, and I also got a... Um, print here that I went a little bit too aggressive on the uh, color. So I'm gonna try and back that out with some uh, alcohol to get the words back. But uh, oh, let's uh, print on here a little bit more uh, lipstick holder, Lego. bottom of some uh, glass. 
I just get these at Goodwill. So fun. I think it's actually working better that there's some paint stuck to it. All right, let's get this one. Well, and again, that's a little aggressive for the paint, so I'm gonna have a, uh, I'm gonna have to back that off. This one is more what we're looking for. Can really see the the text on that. So, all right. So let's put this aside for a minute and use the alcohol to lift off some of the paint. Uh, so I've got 71% uh, alcohol in the spray bottle. Alcohol basically is gonna melt your acrylic paint. So I'm just gonna spray this on here and let it sit for a minute. And then I'm gonna get a baby wipe and just lift off some of this paint. And so you can still see the pattern, but you can now you can see your text more. And of course, if you are more careful and you don't go too deep on your paint and patterning, you won't have to, um, you won't need this step. So now you can see the words better. All right, very cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that to this piece as well, because you can see that the text has disappeared. Okay, so now this is part two, and we're gonna do uh, the background um, for the cards on black stock with the interference uh, colors and, and a stencil. And I'm hoping that this stencil is not too clogged with paint because um, it's time for it to be cleaned. And as I mentioned before, I'm not great about that. Interference blue. And so I tend to avoid it and then interference violet. At some point, it's all um, jammed up with paint and um, manganese blue hue. Um, you can't, the, it, the stencil's too thick to get a good print. So hopefully that's not the case right now. Quinacridone magenta and just the tiniest bit of nickel azo gold. I think gold would have been better, but we'll see what happens. And then we're just gonna brayer that out. And what I've been getting when I'm lucky is sort of an iridescent rainbow effect. So fingers crossed on that. And we just, uh, just need a base coat starting out. So we'll just get a couple of those. Yep, looking good. Okay, let's get a golder one. So iridescent bright gold, nickel azo gold. Maybe we'll try and do kind of a green one. Green gold and the interference blue. Getting some base coats right now. Wow, so pretty. That would be good for uh, one of the Christmas trees. Interference violet, permanent violet, iridescent bright gold, manganese blue hue. Now, of course, we want a um, good, strong contrast over this. So, well, let's start with this one. This is actually my favorite. So let's use um, iridescent pearl, iridescent bright gold, um, the tiniest bit of phthalo blue, and a little bit of white. All right, let's see what we get there. All 
Okay, and our stencil. This is from Joggles. This is an Elizabeth St. Hilaire stencil. I'll put the information, I mean, I'll put the, link, the name of it in the link below. And then this is going to need some good pressure um, to get into all those spirals. And of course, you can check and see how you're doing, which makes it really easy. You just go back and press a little bit more where you don't see the design. I mean, just gorgeous. And then this will be two um, card bases. So that's one. So let's do our last one and then we'll move on to the assembling of the cards. All right, so this is our last base. We'll see what we wanna do on top of there. So I'm gonna do Interference Violet, Iridescent Pearl, and just uh, titanium white so that we have a really strong contrast for what's here. We'll brayer that out. Okay. Okay, that looks good. Really got to press it down to get the to get the uh, pattern on those spirals. All right, but this is looking really good. Wow. All right. Well, that is looking great. I guess we could pick up one more ghost print here. Um, with this really light, I think I'll do something really dark on top of that. Let's whip out the ultramarine blue. And I'm hearing phthalo turquoise again. And now I'm hearing iridescent bright gold. So I am just listening and following what I hear, we'll see what this is going to look like. That's a nice one. Okay, so I cut the um, background cards down to uh, four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And then I cut the sayings down to about uh, two and a half by five. And I, these are the ones I'm gonna put together. Um, iridescent or the interference pigments over the black is, I just think it's spectacular. So um, I'll put one together, I'll put one card together and then um, you'll know what I'm doing. I'm using the um, ATG gun. And then I'll come back and show them all to you just right before we say goodbye for the day. And um, I hope you had fun watching. It's so fun. I'm so enchanted by the jelly plate having such a good time. All right, so I'm putting it on here. I'm putting it a little bit higher than center. So I've stuck the first one down there. And then I'm going to put the ATG tape on the back again. And put it to the 5x7 Strathmore blank card. And there's your card ready to go. So fun. Hope to see you next time. This is Vicki Reed with Paint by Heart. Thanks for watching.